this is Mickey 3193 and this is just a really quick video um, just showing you a little something that I've done for this Datsun wagon um, obviously it's been done all rusted up and I want to do a cover for the back so what I've done, it's not finished yet I'm just going to show you how we get to the stage that it's at and um, was to make a lot of tarps on the back of it which you can see there and this is really simple to do um, all, all it is basically is just some of this like kitchen cloth that comes on a roll and what you're going to do with it is get yourself some first off get your car and wrap it with um, some cling film or saran wrap and once you've wrapped it all wrap it so it's tight around the back or the part that you want to cover because you can do any part of the car you could do the front you could do a whole car cover an entire car with it um, if you want to do dioramas where, where you want it to look like there's some cars sat there you could cover an entire car and just take it off and use it set on its own and um, once you've wrapped it all you basically get your blue cloth and paint it with some PVA glue or white glue and um, once you've painted it obviously you need to cut it to shape first you then put it on and while it's all wet, fold it and mould it to the shape you want it to be in. And you will need to use stuff. I basically I had a couple of bits sat like this, just holding it in place. As you can see, holds the corners down. Otherwise, the corners will keep fl corners will keep flicking up. It only takes about a day for it to dry. But once it has dried, you end up with it's not indestructible, but it holds really well. A little cover. Now the next job that I need to do on it is to paint it. Um, now I'd imagine if you have an airbrush, an airbrush would work quite well, or even just give it a gentle spray. But I wouldn't soak it because if it gets too wet with it being PVA glue, um, I, the shape will just go. I'm going to use my normal um, acrylic paints and just basically do. It really finely just a thin layer let it dry off and then another thin layer um, and then i'll add some highlights you know to make it look weathered but there you go as i say it's just a quick video there and it should look when it's done pretty cool obviously there'll be pictures up on my instagram when it's done if you check out stream if you on instagram and that's that so thanks for watching as always and click the thumbs up if you like this and see you later.